I finally remember Thanksgiving when I was a kid. School was out, there was a chill in the air, grandmothers in the kitchen, football on the TVs. Then the gluttonous feast was followed by either a nap in front of the TV or playing in the backyard, depending on how old you were at the time. Then just a few hours later came the leftovers and more hanging out with no real obligations or responsibilities. At least that's what it felt like as a 10 year old boy. It was an awesome time and I always knew that Christmas was just around the corner. Decades later, I can still see and smell those wonderful days. What about you? Think back to your Thanksgiving days as a child. What stands out in your memory banks? Just recalling those special days from long ago can usher in an extra dose of appreciation that you can enjoy right now in the current moment. So we all know that Thanksgiving is a time to express gratitude for our blessings. It's a day set aside not just to acknowledge that we're better off than a few billion other people scattered across the planet, but to overtly appreciate the people closest to us as well. But my challenge to you today is this, why not approach every day with this kind of exceptional gratitude, not just Thanksgiving Day? Let's call this the Thanksgiving mindset. There's no need to wait for the fourth Thursday of November. Express gratitude for progress, even for setbacks. Express gratitude for peace and also stress. Raining where you are today? Thank God for the rain. Is it snowing? Thank God for the snow. Sunny skies? You know what to do, right? Give thanks. Express thanksgiving for holidays, vacations, and also days filled with hard, hard work. In the middle of frustrating adversity, thank God for eventually bringing you out of the difficulty stronger and better than you were before. This kind of gratitude is what Paul had in mind when he wrote to the Thessalonians, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Most importantly, making everyday Thanksgiving Day requires the habit of appreciating other people. When something appreciates, it increases in value. When people are sincerely appreciated, their own self-worth is elevated as well. If you want to increase the value of something in your life, take better care of it. If you want to increase the value of key relationships, treasure them. At this moment in time, perhaps your spouse could really benefit from some exceptional gratitude or possibly it is your child or even your parents who are starving for appreciation. Whoever it is, take better care of them. Honor them with more interest and attention. Dwell on what's great about them or even what could be great. View them through the lens of Philippians 4a. And there is a special bonus when you appreciate others. It increases not only their value, but yours as well. Finally, a friendly warning of sorts. It's easy to gradually become an ingrate and continually rehearse what's wrong with your circumstances and relationships. It's easy to mentally shift or mentally drift into the habit of emphasizing deficiencies in yourself and your disappointments with others. It's easy to habitually highlight junk in a world chock full of joy. But this is not for you. So let this question stick with you today and every day. What if you woke up tomorrow with only those things you thank God for today? Let's make every day Thanksgiving. This is Tommy Newberry, because mindset makes all the difference.